Welcome to Bare Metal Distro Review, where I put distros on a real PC and actually put them to work. Today, for our first episode, we have Endeavor OS. Now, I intend this to be more of a product review than a how-to, but you will see B-roll in the background of me doing various things on Endeavor, so you can get a good feel of what it looks like and how it acts. Now, for a bit of history. Endeavor OS is a rather young distro, so there's not as much history to it as there are with some distros out there. Endeavor OS started life as Antergos. Forgive my pronunciation, I do not speak Leash yet. This was a GNOME-based and Arch-based distro that was seeking to make an Arch-based distro that was more of a complete package than the very bare-bones vanilla Arch. Sadly, development of Antergo stopped when the original devs simply did not have the time to maintain it anymore, and in my opinion made the rather mature decision to walk away. But the community around Antergo wanted to keep going. Thus was born Endeavor OS. Endeavor OS's goal right from the start was to use its community to its advantage and create a distinct distro with its own voice. And to do this, they've stayed quite close to the base Arch system while providing a more easily used system by less advanced uh, users. This is not a newbie-friendly distro, but it has a much easier install process than Vanilla Arch. I actually want to take a moment and quote the About page from Endeavor OS because I feel like it really conveys their vision. Shout out to whoever wrote the About page. They did a great job. So, start quote. With the plan to turn Endeavor into Endeavor OS, we deliberately traveled another road than Antergos did. It never was, and never will be, our intention to be an Antergos clone. In fact, our departure point was the Antergos community and not the Inter Antergos the distro. And that's why we choose to let go of the look and feel of our product predecessor and find our own voice in creating our own, our own identity with the community at our side. To avoid becoming the project becoming unmanageable, we decided in the early stages of development to provide a basic system that is close to Arch Linux. That's why we are aiming for a Linux user with an intermediate level of knowledge who likes to handle a system that needs hands-on customization from the get-go with the help of our main standout feature, our vibrant, vibrant and friendly community. End quote. I think they did a great job conveying everything there. Very well written. So now I'm going to rate Endeavor OS on its aesthetics, usability, stability, how well does it achieve its stated goal, and any hardware issues I ran into. On aesthetics, I give it a 5 out of 5. I have been using it with KDE, and the theme implementation and the coherent aesthetic are absolutely great. I am not normally one for the ooh, space type stuff. I find that rather cheesy. But I find its entire aesthetic looks better than anything Windows has put out in, well, any point in history, actually. Now, I've really not used it much with other disk desktops or window managers, because really, I'm actually a fan of KDE these days. I used to be more of a GNOME guy back in the GNOME 2 days, but KDE and the newest implementations of KDE are absolutely fantastic. And the implement implementation of KDE in this distro is one of the best if not the best out there. On usability, I also give it a 5 out of 5. It does a very good job of letting you do what you need to do without getting in your way. Yay comes configured and working out of the box, which is very, very nice. And I like it when things work the way I want them to work, and when I am the one in charge, not the boss of some burnt-out developer who has no idea what he's even telling the developers to make, which is just way too common these days. There is one caveat here, though. This is not a newbie distro. And the terminal is a powerful tool. Endeavor OS embraces this fact, and so do I. So if you're not yet comfortable with the terminal, or you think, bro, it's not 1985 anymore, you shouldn't need to use the terminal anymore, then this distro is not for you. But if you're not quite comfortable with the terminal yet, but you've already used the distro like Linux Mint and you want to learn more, then Endeavor OS is a great choice for those who want to dive in more, but not quite go all the way to like Arch or Gen 2 or something like that yet. For stability, I give it a 4 out of 5. I will have a little bit of a hard time rating this one because personally, I found it to be very stable. To the point in a previous video, I swapped in several kernels from the AUR and it still ticked along happily. Really, the only reason I knock off one point is because it's a rolling release. So theoretically, something could come down the pipe and cause issues. Although this doesn't seem very likely to me. I do want to say though, I would never recommend a rolling release 
to a uh, new Linux user just for the reason that something can theoretically come down the pipe and cause issues. So next is how well does it achieve its data goals? I give this one also a five out of five. Endeavor OS is designed to give you something close to Arch while being easier to use and install, but still easy to configure on your own. Endeavor OS works literally just like the sticker says. And in my opinion, when things work like the sticker, it works like the sticker says to an extent that most pieces of software can only dream of. The world would be a better place if everything worked as advertised. Unfortunately, world don't work that way. Now I wanna take a moment and just say that I had no hardware issues at all on this PC, but with my PC, you would not expect to have any hardware issues because I'm running a older model PC with an older AMD processor. This may not be true for everyone, but for me, I had no hardware issues at all. Even when I uh, used the Intel Wi-Fi card that I bought in a previous video that I will link down below. Now, does Endeavor have any unique features? Why, yes, it has a unique a uh, welcome screen that gives you an easy spot to install new programs, update your system, update the repos, as well as a ton of other stuff. I haven't even gone through all of it because I'm not someone that uses a uh, GUI for a lot of that stuff, but it gives you a ton of options. And the best part is it can be turned off with the click of a button and re-enabled with a simple b command. It's easy to use as much of the B-roll that you're watching right now should show. The next question for is, can you game on it? And the answer is yes. War Thunder, at very least, ran very well on this PC using Endeavor. I also ran Tannenberg and Verdun without any issues, all natively. In fact, on the screen right now, you can see B-roll I took of War Thunder while running Endeavor OS. Yes, I play Italy. Yes, I enjoy it. No, I am not crazy. Now, I should mention a few additional things here. Endeavor OS has proper access to the AUR, the Arch user repository, and the AUR is awesome. I'm pretty sure it has every piece of software ever coded by human hands for a Linux machine. No, really, it is insanely huge. And I have referenced it a bunch of times in my previous videos because there's just so many programs you can find in the AUR that you may not find typically in your distro repositories, like the tool from my previous video, F3 Tools, link down below. And when you install from the AUR, it uses a script to compile from source, so you can use it to compile kernels even. I actually have a short where I did that, exactly, and I'll link that one below too. Now, for the part of this video that I think is going to be very controversial. I think that because of Endeavor OS, Manjaro has lost its raisin d'atra. Everything that Manjaro aims to be good at, frankly, Endeavor just does better. It looks better and is ironically more stable because it doesn't have issues with dependencies and has proper AUR access which is a huge selling point for any Arch-based distro. In fact, it's probably the biggest selling point of using Arch, period. So, in conclusion, Endeavor OS is a fantastic distro that works just like the sticker says to a degree that all software should aspire to. And it has been my workhorse for the past several weeks and is currently one of my favorite distros. So don't forget to like and subscribe and pray every day.